Hello, mic check one two one two one check mic two. Hey, Jessica. All right, today on a mercredi, le 1er avril 2021. Huh? If you made it this far, you survived a lot. Anyways, aujourd'hui, euh, c'est quoi le programme? C'est quoi le programme? Bon. Après avoir fait les courses, il est temps d'aller se faire bon. Hein? Comme d'habitude, on se coiffe euh, une fois chaque trois mois. Hein? Parce que c'est tout un budget. Et, et ici, on sait manager le budget de l'État. Hein? To keep it cheap et la vie continue. Anyways, anyways, un petit faux genre, une petite plutôt... Une fausse petite interview genre façon vlogmatique quoi je vais chez mon coiffeur pour qu'il arrange genre la merdouille que j'ai sur la tête là anyways arrivé là bas on va voir s'il va accepter que je filme en tout cas on se voit euh, tout à l'heure hein? moi je suis en train de dealer d'abord avec cette merde cette merde qu'on appelle Richmond si vous connaissez Richmond Avenue à Houston, vous savez de quoi je suis en train de parler. Petit trafic, on te dit. Sam Houston Highway. Let's go. Alors. reste de ton côté fou quoi t'as dit qu'on était camarade all right de dire que je suis en train de risquer ma vie pour une vidéo is in that funny Ok, les dernières secondes de mes cheveux. En tout cas, <rire> s'il arrive à faire la magie avec ça, il est fort. <rire> uh, do you mind me filming? Alright, so. Alright, this is my mess. Never, never said one bad word about it. Ever. You, 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 know you know what I hear more than anything in the, in the oh, black community? More than anything else. Oh. The same thing I push on my channel. We need therapy. That one to us. <laughs> yes. That, that, we need yes. therapy. And here's the thing. Yeah. Um, because this is when I start, people start saying I'm an asshole. Because I'm a 52 year old man and I've had troubles too. I've had traumas too. I've had things that, and I'm not, and what we can't do is the oppression victim Olympics. We have to become a competent people. No one cares about our problems. Mm -hmm. Right. So, so unless we, so we're at the bottom. Right. And the only way we're going to get back to the top is to be together. Right. We are the only group of women who think that they don't need their men to live a successful life. That he was well, not we are from Black America, and I'm sorry, I, I met too many people. Who, when Big Daddy died, you met your whole entire other side of the family. Mm -hmm. So I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. Right. What am I talking about? Because because here's the bottom line: we can be morally right. Black folks love to be right and lose at the same time. Mm -hmm. I don't care about yeah. being right. I want to win. Right. So where we got all these moralistic? We're the most Christian, losingest group of people on the planet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. But we gotta talk about what he. I wouldn't do with that. What? Well, they kicking our ass. Yeah. No. Because they are together. Mm -hmm. Even right now, when I'm on my show, and I even talk about, I don't want a high value man because I don't mm -hmm. want to put up with cheating. All right. So you mean you could respect an average earning man and such and so right. forth, as long as he's ambitious and want more than that. No, no, no. He's just, he's just where he is. Mm -hmm. right. See. Mm -hmm. What I think in the black, one of the biggest things that goes on between us in our community is one, 
I had a woman come on my show the other night and I'm going to profile it. My generation was raised by the baby boomers and the baby boomers were the generation that turned their back on tradition. They're they sleep old, but, but, and, but hold on, hold on. Now this is where we're going to really go off the rails because I'm sorry. Having sex does not mean you have to have a baby. If a baby happens, it's because a woman wanted to bring one into the world. That is 100% on women. So you can't talk about a father not being. A, you can't talk. To me, you cannot talk to me about a father not being in the household when most men are just having sex with women, not wanting to have a and not wanting to have a kid. See, you could. It would be, di it would be different. It would be, your your argument to me would make more sense that if you're talking about a woman that was married to her husband and then they had a baby in the context of a marriage and then the marriage dissolved for whatever reason and he's not there. So that he can raise them properly because I can't teach a man how to because be Because when it gets right down to it, when we get out into in competing in the world, yeah. no other race, of, yeah. another race leads with their women. The men are the warriors. Yeah. And I'm honest. You show me an army full of women, I'll show you a defeated state. Humble. I say it all. The average time. black woman is far too prideful, far too egotistical to even understand they need the help. Right. So um, here's the one thing whether you're a Christian or not, pride comes before the fall. Either you'll bow down or you'll get knocked down. It's not one. It's not us. The world is coming to knock you down because when when Neiman Marcus finally goes out of business and these women who've been in, in the federal government working in the post well, office start losing their jobs. Right. They'll start realizing that the very men that they turn their nose up are the very men they're going to need so they don't have to eat cat food. <laughs> this is why I say pride, humility. I mean, some humility and before you can start working with the men what are you doing with your boys show me what you're doing with your boys show me what a woman's attitude is with her boys versus her daughters and i'll show you if that woman is a woman that can be saved if i see a woman that's telling her making her boys putting them in jordans and pampering him and telling her daughter to go to school and get an education can't save you if i see a woman that's saying you know what i don't I picked poorly for his daddy, but I'm going to try to see if I can get Mr. Anton or Mr. Kevin to come over here and I'm going to pay him to be a mentor because he don't owe me nothing. Um, I didn't ask him. And why is he telling me? Because that was the right thing to do. You have your goddamn mind. It's not the right thing to do. You wrecked your home based upon a punk ass beta man. We came in asking about a beta That's man, a beta right? Man. Mm -hmm. And what happened to you? You allowed a beta to run you away from your house. You were a wife. He was cheating with another married woman, but it ain't like he was being sloppy. You allowed a beta man. I mean, hey, by the way. Well, well, well. Mr. Sexy is in the house. Hello, ladies. I'm back. How you doing? A little stylistic, a little half dread, you know. Quand tu ne sais pas si tu es un rasta ou si tu n'es pas un rasta, voici la coupe. Jesus, I'm coming for your woman. Hide your wife. Hide your sisters. Hide your wife and your sisters. I'm coming. The official face of happiness. I know, I know.